Hey everyone, it's Earth Collectors here. We're opening up another box of Heritage Baseball 2024 Tops Heritage Baseball. This is a hobby box. We got some retail coming in. I haven't seen many retail videos yet, but they're trickling in now. So it's some hanger boxes, um, the monster giant boxes, also blaster boxes. But wanted to open up another hobby box, see if this is another hot box or if it's just a regular old hobby box with hopefully some massive autograph in it. Uh, last video we did, we did get a hot box of, out of uh, Heritage. So let's see what is in this box here. This is um, a Thursday, the day after the release of Heritage. Uh, and so pretty fun to open up a more Heritage. I know some people love Heritage, some people hate it, but here's our box topper. We got Tom Carroll. This is original 1975. And so this is the set, 1975. Think of, you know, Brady Bunch, um, Beach Boys, um, all sorts of shag carpet and weird clothes, and you got 1975. All right, let's look at these cards, see what we can get out of here. Right away, we got a flipped over one. So um, find out what we can get here. Maybe we have a short print or a variation of some kind. The short prints are flipped over this year. And so this is a short print number three. So short prints are going to be one to um, 100. So there's the front of it, 400th home run. And always check the backs of these. So you look at the back, and if there's a variation, it's going to be right up there by the number. You'll see it, and it's in incredibly small print. So definitely keep your eyes peeled because it is very hard to uh, see the um, what it, what the name of the variation is. A very very small print. All right, so let's look at the second pack here. You can get base packs, and this may just be one of those, but we'll check. There's a nice Ellie De La Cruz, so we'll take that. Um, I think those Ellies are fairly hard to pull. Luke was saying that in his shop, a guy opened a case and only pulled three of them out of there. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, maybe Ellie is really tough. I mean, that's tough for set builders if uh, he's that uncommon. All right. If I miss something, definitely holler in the comments. Let me know. You're looking for one hit out of these boxes, and there is an insert, New Age Performers. Put that over here. And then we'll look at the backs of all these again just to make sure we didn't miss anything. I know, maybe annoying, but we don't want to miss anything big. Uh, in the past, they did not have those on the back. They didn't tell you what it was, so you had to look at the little serial numbers, and boy, that was tough. So let's see what we have in this one here. We have a Tommy Jack Henry short print. All right. And then Tony Gonsolin. Now the second or the third to the last card and the, the second to last card are usually where you're going to have your hits. And there's two white border cards per uh, hobby box. And then you get your either relic or autograph and autograph seem like there are two to three a case. Here we have a black Oh, nice. That's awesome. Uh, Black Otani 23 highlights. So that's pretty sweet. We'll take that. Um, there we go. So it's one of the short printed, but it's a black. They're not numbered, serial numbered on the card, but they only, have, in the past, have only made 50 of them. Uh, so uh, if it's the same numbering, which I think it is this year, then it's just going to be numbered to 50, uh, which is pretty sweet. So there's the Otani black all right cool so put that in our good pile and we'll go through back through our stack make sure we didn't miss anything but that's a nice start to the box take that now is that like a massive hit no but you'd be surprised how much they'll sell for um you know they're not like uh you know a couple hundred dollar card but they're uh they're definitely more than ten dollars all right let's see what we get here brad hand and then another insert louisiana superdome opens in new orleans all right, and a Pete Crow Armstrong. So it's the flashbacks. They give you all the stat or all the news back from 1975. So our first stack of that hobby box had that nice Otani in it. Let's see what else we can find in here. Hopefully this box has an auto. That would be awesome. My, I opened up a case of this off camera, and the autos I got were horrendous, and um, I only got two. Uh, but then I found out that that's kind of the norm, two to three a case. 
If you watched the case break that uh, Luke did last night on release day, that was a that was a solid case. The autographs in there were, were good. Sparky Anderson card. All right, let's see. We have here. Here's one of our whites. Cool. I think this is the second time I pulled this white, which is kind of crazy. Um, American League leaders and National League leaders from. Um, 2023 or no sorry 2012 i was reading the bottom here 2012 like that can't be right all right 2012 so that's a white border and it's going to tell you up in the corner here that it's a black but it's actually white <laughs> all right so oops top did a oopsie um and actually let's look go back and look at that otani see if it says something yeah it says it here and it should say white if you can read it um yeah oops top did a, a boo-boo Got them wrong. Um, yeah, so if you get one that's black and it says white border, yes, that's just what happened. They screwed up. All right, here is a New Age Performers, Yelich. In that case, I also pulled a, a gold Yelich, number five. That was pretty cool. So, yeah, I didn't do that on camera. I just did that off camera. But I figure we'll open up plenty of heritage on the channel. So if you're a lover of heritage, definitely hit that thumbs up button. And even if you're not, hit that thumbs up button. It helps out the channel. We'll bring you more content. There's a nice Kerry Carpenter short print. Or now we'd say low number. We say high number. Now it's a low number. Um, yeah, so we'll be doing Bowman when that comes out. That'll be fun. Jumbo, hobby, hopefully both. Um, and we'll see what else we can get our hands on in between now and the Bowman release. All right, so Junior Camonero, that's in the good spot. Let's hopefully, is that some kind of variation? No, it's not. Junior Camonero is one of the hot prospects for the Tampa Bay Rays. So, so far, nothing crazy in here. We got that white out of this stack. So I go by the stacks in the box. There's four stacks, 24 packs in a box. Um, and here is a flashback, Nolan Ryan's fourth career no-hitter. Um, and then we'll look once again at the backs and nothing. So we got the black, we got the white. We're still looking for our hit. And if it's a white card right in there, it's usually a relic. Um, now, there are some really nice relics in Heritage, and there's also a lot of $5 relics. Um, or or less. <laughs> All right, so anything here of note? Not that I see. All right, next pack. Let's see if we can hit something big. There's there's cut autographs in here. There's, um, uh, you know, Hall of Famers. There's the red ink. There's the blue ink autos. There's all kinds of crazy stuff. And the autographs out of here are highly coveted by collectors, especially the red. All right, let's see. Nope. It looked like a base pack, and indeed it was. Like I said, usually the um, hits are in the back of the pack. But it's always worth checking them out. And then they have the no name or the no um, signature. Uh, so the facsimile signature is missing on some of those. They have color swap. They have error cards. They have all sorts of interesting stuff. Here is a New Age Performers Otani insert and then nolan jones so nothing there but some of them are very hard to tell there's black and white variation as well that's pretty obvious because the player in the black and white or the player is in black and white while the border is still colored so it's pretty easy to spot those uh, but some of the other variations are quite tricky all right so this one is flipped around is this an action no it's just flipped upside down is it a flip stock? No, not a flip stock. Huh. I'm going to leave that one out. I don't think it's anything special, but it's just flipped over. There's one of our SPs. And let's see what else we got in this. Nothing uh, too crazy there. All right. Upward and onward. I know heritage for a lot of people. Um, uh, looks like we have a relic maybe in here. I think we have a relic. All right. So... No autograph, but hey, we can still pull a massive card if we have something like a throwback in here, which probably not going to happen. But hey, Pete Alonzo, uh, Bat Relic. All right. And that's not going to be numbered. They do make golds of these, um, but that is not one of them. And nothing in that. All right. It'd be nice to get a chrome out of here. The chromes look really nice. 
These are just loose boxes that I got from Luke Shop, or this one I should say is a loose box from Luke Shop. So it's weird that these are flipped around because not, I haven't seen any others that are flipped around. There's a Julio, this is the base, and that is nothing. This is an insert, so the insert right there. Oh no, that's not an insert, sorry, this is the insert. <laughs> Done and now, all right, insert. And that is Fred Lynn and Shohei Otani. All right, uh, last pack. We got our kit. We got one of the whites. We got at least one more white. And hopefully we have some kind of a variation in here. And I'll uh, take that Otani black any day of the week. Um, all right, there's Gabriel Arias. Low number. And Jordan Alvarez. So nothing in there. I did see one uh, channel open up two blaster boxes of Heritage and pull two autographs. So that's very interesting. I wonder if they loaded up retail. Um, because in the past, Heritage retail was quite good. Here's our white, U Darvish white. I think I already pulled a U Darvish white, which is interesting. Um, so those are not numbered, but those are only two per hobby. And you can get those in retail, the whites. You cannot get the blacks in retail. Blacks are exclusive to um, hobby. So let's hope we get a chrome or um, maybe a black chrome. That'd be awesome. I haven't pulled one of those yet. Even out of my case, I did not pull one of those. There's a New Age Performers, Nolan Arenado, World Series. All right. If you're looking for Heritage, I got a bunch listed on my eBay store. So check out Mike's eBay store down there in the description and you'll find some of the heritage I've listed. All right, we'll have sets up for this too, uh, for the set. All right, here is a flipped over card and it's gonna be um, Jameson Talion and that would be a um, short print, a low numbered. All right, two packs left. Thanks so much for watching guys. Hopefully you enjoy this video and if you haven't yet already hit that thumbs up button and comment below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Ooh, I think we did get a black. Nope, it's a, it's a chrome though. We did get a chrome. Carlos Correa refractor. I pulled, <laughs> I got a Carlos Correa already, uh, but that was just a regular chrome. But those are numbered to 575. So the chrome or the refractors are 575. And I think it tells you, yeah, it should tell you right there that it's a refractor. But those are beautiful looking cards. Very nice looking cards. And then, um, yeah, so we did get a Chrome. All right, so I'm happy. Uh, not the worst box, but definitely not the best box. It's just kind of the way Heritage goes. But you do get a nice big stack of base cards. And, yes, those do add up because people try to make sets. There's Margaret Thatcher news flashbacks. Check these one last time. And there you go, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Just a little recap of some of the good stuff here. We got that Correa Chrome. We got the White U Darvish. We got uh, Pete Alonzo Relic. These are all short prints. And we got another White of the Most Valuable Players. And then the highlight is the highlight card of Shohei Otani um, in the black. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Take care and have fun collecting.